this video will save lives. This was a really big explosion that rocked this neighborhood in this area. It seems as though that the one person that was seriously injured was actually working a job with his co-worker. We will show you a cylinder with oxygen and its devastating power. The Department of Sanitation says that these tanks should be taken to special waste drop-off sites. We're taking out what seems to be a tank from the back of that truck, and that tank exploded. Will it explode like a hell, or it will stand and nothing happen? Lost his arm and his leg. Tonight, exploding oxygen tanks. The oxygen gave out a very bright flash. It flashed in the sky like a lightning. Well, one man is taken to the hospital after an oxygen tank explodes today. Had been sitting in the back of her daughter's car. Turns out two of Deborah's oxygen tanks had been sitting in the back of this Ford Focus. This compression of gas represents a tremendous amount of stored energy. As the temperature inside climbed, the tanks reached a breaking point. And now we know for sure what happens when they are left in the heat. Tonight, we know that the tank exploded after the victim attempted to remove a valve. Experts tell us it was likely a safety valve that shot off that propelled the tanks, essentially like a small rocket, guys. If the outlet valve is broken off, the sudden release of compressed gas can turn the cylinder into a missile with energy to shoot through a cinder block wall. The state fire marshal's office said that the man had been manipulating the bottle's valve in an attempt to remove it. When he couldn't get it off, he began to hit the bottle against the ground. And the pressurized contents then exploded, killing that man. We now know what caused an explosion inside a garbage truck on the Upper West Side. This here is the culprit, an oxygen tank improperly disposed in the trash. In one reported incident, a damaged cylinder penetrated two sheet metal walls before becoming airborne and exiting through the roof. This compression of gas represents a tremendous amount of stored energy. The tank reached an altitude of 140 feet before falling back through the building's roof a second time. When a steel cylinder becomes a projectile, it can move with great force at high speeds. The Department of Sanitation says that these tanks should be taken to special waste drop-off sites. And in unpredictable directions, with the potential to cause serious or fatal injuries. Three, two, one. We will show you a cylinder with oxygen and its devastating power. The air tank turned the cinder block to the cinders. It even put a fair dent in the wall six feet behind it. Two sanitation employees were taken to the hospital for evaluation. It totally, no I mean, it didn't go all the way through, but it, uh, it went through this one and it was going. It's working its way through that one. I was ready to, I was ready to see this as not possible. I was totally expecting it not to actually work. One of those impossible tales, and everyone we talked to had heard the story, but no one knew anybody that it happened to. Maybe it will fly like a rocket. It also pushed this entire wall back a half an inch. I hope this video will save lives. <laughs> Who could tell that it will be that powerful? There's the bus on the other side. The gas cylinder has flown somewhere really far. It was flying like a real spinning rocket. I hope this video will save lives. Garbage bags containing pressurized oxygen tanks for collection on Wednesday morning. Moments later, the driver engaged the truck's garbage compactor. The Department of Sanitation says that these tanks should be taken to special waste drop-off sites. We've got 30 meters down the street. One man received deep cuts to his face, and the other was hospitalized with severe eye injuries. The oxygen tanks were shaken in the impact and provided fuel for the fire, causing an explosion. Terrified onlookers couldn't believe their eyes. Hey, did you get my back? Get back! 
wrench the gentleman was using to take the valve off the cylinder. Anyway, was nearly killed Monday when an oxygen tank exploded at the Florida Resource Metal Scrapyard. We now know what caused an explosion inside a garbage truck on the Upper West Side. This here is the culprit, an oxygen tank improperly disposed in the trash. This is a chain vice who was using to hold the cylinder on the workbench. His family says he earns a living by selling scrap metal and has been doing it for years. And the cylinder bounced around here, hit the uh, workbench. This item on the workbench just happens to be the gentleman's watch that was ripped completely off his arm. This is where his severed arm landed. Fire officials are warning residents of tampering with oxygen tanks. And this is a picture of where the cylinder valve and cylinder landed. They say mishandling the equipment could cause a disaster. This is a piece of shrapnel from the top of the cylinder. Banging an oxygen tank on the ground is a very dangerous thing. The gentleman was scrapping aluminum oxygen tanks. I'm looking down inside the cylinder. To get any scrap value out of the tank, you have to have the valve out before uh, the scrapyards will accept it. It embedded itself in the pegboard on the wall across the room. The gentleman was scrapping aluminum oxygen tanks. And the oxygen to get any scrap value out of the tank, you have to have the valve out before uh, the scrapyards will accept it. Warning residents to be very cautious. I think your instincts are you want to bang it. You want to turn it hard and uh, boy, that's that's not something you could do with oxygen or propane. injured after an oxygen tank explodes. Says the man was possibly scrapping metal. His co-worker telling us his arm and a leg were blown off in the accident. A crews believe the man was grinding a metal oxygen cylinder with a grinder. I hope this video will save lives. Reported hearing a very loud bang. He says the two were unloading scrap metal uh, and the oxygen cylinder uh, propelled across the street. <laughs> the purpose of this program is to help prevent injuries and property damage.